Hello there and welcome to Linux S2 and this video guide is about XTM. XTM is Extreme Download Manager, a worthy and better alternative to IDM. So as you may know IDM or Internet Download Manager is a well known name among people and the download manager is famous for its high speed features and usability. This is why millions of users use it around the world. Unfortunately, IBM is only available to Windows operating system. That means we as a Linux users do not get the luxury of this amazing tool. Luckily, Linux has a better alternative and it is free and open source. So, XDM is a powerful tool and it can increase your downloading speed up to 500%. I mean, your speed will be the same. That depends on the connection that you have. I mean, how much speed you have taken in the connection. Sometimes what happens when you try to download files from the internet, the downloading speeds do not come that fast that you have as per your connection and uh, there could be many issues in that because uh, there could be some network congestion, there could be load on the server and there could be various regions which is why you are not getting the proper downloading speed. But IDM can help you there and uh, it will try to give you uh, that much speed that you deserve. Apart from that, uh, you can also download videos from streaming websites and uh, it can also resume broken or failed downloads. So what happens when you try to download bigger files from the internet and uh, somehow the link fails and you get unable to connect or network error, then you can easily replace a newer link in the download manager and it will resume the download. You can also schedule it, you can convert your media and uh, good part is that XCM also seamlessly integrates with the popular browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Ads, Opera, Vivaldi, and REST, Firefox, or Chromium based browsers. So, what happens when you integrate it with your browser and you try to download anything from that particular browser in which you have integrated XTM extension? A download pop up shows up when you try to download anything from the internet. So, as I've already mentioned, that XTM is feature loaded, it supports a lot of features. I have mentioned most of them already like it can increase your speed by 500 percent it works with all browsers it can post resume schedule you can also control your speed you can queue your downloads it also support proxy servers authentication best download and most of the important thing is that it has a really cool custom design so here is the xtm in my computer so this is the XTM and it has really unique design as compared to other applications that you typically use in your system. If it helps then this is made by an Indian developer. He works in I think Microsoft nowadays. So he develops this application and he actually keeps it up to date very often. So you get the update with this particular application. So let's see how you can install it in your system and how you can integrate it with your browser. So the installation is pretty straightforward. You just have to go to the official website. Just type XTM download manager and you should see some results. So this is the website XTM download manager.com. Simply open it up and you should see website like this. So for Linux, you have two different options that you can choose from. So one is the Linux installer and another one is the jar file. For the jar file, you need Java in your system but uh, this one is pretty solid so you can simply download it and execute it and the application will get installed in your system so just click on the button and it should start to download the file so after downloading the file you can easily extract it and you would find a cell script there so here is the extracted folder and as you can see this is the install.sh file you can directly execute this script from the terminal so just uh, type dot slash and the file name but uh, before that make sure it is an executable file so just type ls and you should see this file in a green color and you can also verify by typing ll and uh, it should show here this x option if it is not showing this x option then you can easily make it an executable for that just type ch mode plus x and the file name and it will make it an executable but as it is already an executable file just type dot slash and type install.sh hit the enter and it is saying you have to run this cell file as root user so just type sudo before executing it and 
type in your password and it will simply install it in your system. So as you can see, installation has completed. So I have basically reinstalled it in my system as I already had it, but it would not make any difference. So just like you can install this tool in your system and uh, then you can also integrate it with your browser. So you can see it has all these browsers that it supports. So if you want to integrate it with, the, let's say Google Chrome, simply click on install add-on and uh, this will open up the extension page and it should show you this uh, extension option here and simply install it in your browser and now it has integrated now if i try to download the xdm again it will use the extreme download manager and not the default downloader as you can see it is popping up this download option here simply download now and as you can see the speed is pretty fast So this is the browser and uh, you can easily install it. Give it a try and uh, see yourself how it works out for you. And uh, I think this is the best alternative for IDM. There is no better alternative than XDM. And uh, the best part about this application is that it is free and open source. So you do not have to pay any fee and it works across the platform. So it works with Linux. Windows, Mac OS or any platform that support Java. So this is the guide about XDM, how you can install it, how you can integrate it with your browser. I hope you find this guide helpful. If you did, then hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I shall catch you in the next one. Till then, take care and keep enjoying Linux.